It's August 2015, and a four-month-old West Highland Terrier puppy called Rodney is here with a very upsetting problem. He has no back feet. It's like any other normal puppy. He plays, he runs, he does everything he shouldn't do. I just can't walk him on concrete. I have to carry him everywhere, and then he can go down when he goes on the grass. I hope that there is something they can do, maybe give him some feet, just something so he's got that uh, chance at a normal sort of life, really. Now, Rodney, please, Rodney. Kelly has made the 160-mile journey to see if Noel can find a way to get Rodney out of pain. OK. All right, buddy. I mean, that's quite sensitive, isn't it? Basically, it's a spiky bit of bone hitting the ground through fairly soft skin. That's what's causing the pain. I know, I know, I know. Quite sensitive. Rodney may be able to have amputation prosthesis, a procedure Noel pioneered where implants are inserted into the bones and prosthetic feet attached. But this isn't without risk, especially on two legs. Rodney's options were very limited. He was in constant pain, walking on stumps, which were getting infected. And a life of pain is no life for a dog. So we felt that surgery was justifiable. And there were a lot of people vested in his success, but the thing was, if we didn't succeed, then it was likely that he would end up being put to sleep. Hello? Hey, it's Noel. Hello, how's it going? Uh, it went fine. He's recovering from anaesthetic now. OK, so you're happy with everything, how it went? I'm happy with how it went. Um, you can never know, for sure, no. until the skin starts to heal in and the bone starts to heal in, but the surgery itself went fine. You can breathe a sigh of relief. So if we look at the before and after, what we've got now is an implant. Yep. But he's doing at the moment fantastic, and as long as he stays like that, I'll be happy. OK? Yes, can we see it? Yeah. Okie dokie. This is a long time. Wait, wait, and this is the longest part. No. You can pick him up. Oh, there you go. You can take off the collar if you want. Oh, look. No. No. Look. No. Fabulous. Look after yourself and be a good boy. What a lucky dog. I picked him up at 10 weeks, and little did I know that a year later, here we would be, having these amazing feet fitted and having a future. Dinner. Oh, my goodness. Every animal should have that. It shouldn't be about whether they've got an owner or whether anybody cares. So many people care for Rodney, and that's the way it should be for all animals. Three months later, and nothing was stopping Rodney. Good boy. Not even hiking in the Welsh hills. He's doing fantastically well now. We have no sort of issues where we walk. We can go anywhere. Oh, oh, we're going in. Rodney is very naughty, full of energy, full of beans. <laughs> and just full of character. <laughs> but Kelly and the charity were still looking for a forever home for him. It's been incredibly difficult and really emotional, but I wouldn't change a thing. Their next challenge would be the hardest, finding someone to take on Rodney and his bionic paws. <laughs>